Namaste, everybody. Howdy, bowl. Thank you for joining us today. As you can see, we're in a very beautiful location, still in the Carpathian Mountains in Ukraine. But if you look behind me, you can see amazing panoramic views. And the mountains are always very special to me. I like the mountains a lot. Which brings us to the day's topic of the three modes of nature or the three gunas. So what we have learned from our bhakti yoga teaching is that the, really the material world is comprised of three different modes of material nature. And these are known as the three gunas. So there's sattva guna or the mode of goodness, there's raja guna or the mode of passion, and there's tama guna or the mode of ignorance. And these three modes of nature are always exerting their influence upon us. And therefore, according to that influence, we act a certain way, we think a certain way, we have certain desires, so many things that seem like we are doing it, or we're deciding it, or we want it, or we feel a certain way, is simply due to the influence of these different modes of nature. So this is a short little discussion, so I don't have time to go into a lot of detail. But very simply, mode of goodness influence, influence is in a good way. I mean, it's, it's, it's just it's obvious. So under the influence of the mode of goodness, I am desirous of living a, a cleaner life, a more healthy life. Therefore, I, I achieve physical health, mental health, it's more calm, more peaceful influence, less agitation, and I also want to do good to other people. I'm more giving, I'm less greedy, I'm, I'm more caring about other people. So it's a very good influence to be under. Mm -hmm. The mode of passion, again, Rajaguna, it is self-explanatory. I'm very passionate about life. Under, life. under this influence, I have so many desires. I'm a very ambitious person. I'm always setting goals that I'm trying to achieve. My senses are very agitated. I'm always seeking sensual stimulation. See, And so, therefore, my life is very chaotic. You know, and I'm never really peaceful and quiet inside. I'm, I'm always agitated. You know, even at night, my dreams are very active. See, whereas in the mode of goodness, peace, peaceful dreams, so to speak. Under the modes of passion, everything is very, very agitated, very volatile, you see. So the highs and the lows are great. You know, I'm high because I've achieved my goal. My senses have found their stimulation that I was looking for. You know, I'm, I'm happy. And then, of course, the opposite comes and I'm very low. See, it's almost like being bipolar. I'm up and I'm down. And so then I'm depressed or I'm in anxiety or I'm frustrated and sad and many negative things. And then again, up and then down. It's a very volatile influence on us. And then the mode of ignorance or tamaguna, again, self-explanatory. It's the dark mode. It's like, you know, I'm so covered in ignorance that I'm, I don't really care about doing much at all, just basically survival. I'm not trying to achieve anything, to reach some goals. One of the characteristics is, is intoxication. I'm very prone to intoxication. Another characteristic, I sleep a lot. You know, it's just a, a, a dark mode. Mm -hmm. And so this is the least desirable of the three. Mm -hmm. And so in the mode of ignorance, I'm not interested in spiritual life basically at all. I don't care. I'm, and I, I, I take the intoxicants and, and the, the things that, that dull my consciousness. See, so I'm, again, just pressed down. 
mode of passion, usually I'm, I'm not very interested in spiritual life either. I'm more inclined to material gain, material acquisition, success, et cetera, et cetera. See, very, very agitated. And again, I'm up and down. Whereas in the mode of goodness, see, I'm not so interested in the material stimulations. I'm more peaceful inside, more happy. Now, this brings us to the point of nature. Nature is in the mode of goodness. We're in this beautiful environment. This is mode of goodness environment. So it's very, very conducive to contemplation, introspection, you know, sitting and thinking, you know, higher thoughts and, you know, again, leading a healthier lifestyle by walking up here and, you know, getting exercise and, you know, if we bring some snacks, we bring healthy food rather than junk and, and so on. So that nature is in the mode of goodness. Uh, the cities are basically in the mode of passion. Everything is busy. People are working, got their jobs. They're trying to get ahead and they're trying to make their money and, you know, climb some success ladder or it's chaotic and people drive fast and the traffic's crazy and, and so on. Mode of passion. And you go there and you start getting into that mood too. And the mode of ignorance, places like bars, nightclubs, dark places where people just go and take intoxication, alcohol, drugs, you know, the, and just kind of, you know, everything is very low, you see. So a person who's wise, if he knows the, the, the nature of these three influences, will have the ability to choose under what influence he wants to be. He'll spend more time in nature because he knows this is good for me. I feel good. It's healthy. You know, my mind is more calm. I think better thoughts and things that are actually, you know, going to benefit me really, you know, or I can choose, you know, to go and be in the city and be in the mode of passion and get all the sensual stimulation, you know, that that offers, you know, or go and, and be covered up by the mode of ignorance. I can choose where I want to be. So a wise person, of course, you know, chooses the mode of goodness, you know. And if he's basically in the mode of passion anyway, he channels that to do good things with his ambitions, with his energy, with his, his abilities to achieve and so on like that, to do good things to people. And so this is also, you know, another thing that we learn. So when our lives are up and down, we know, oh, today I'm under the influence of the mode of goodness. The next day, completely, oh, the mode of passion is very strong. Or, you know, maybe, you know, early mornings, for instance, when we're sleeping, you know, mode of ignorance is very strong, so it's hard to get up, and so on. So these are just bits of information that you might find useful in your life and understand what's going on in your life when you feel different ways and and so on, it's, oh, this influences from the mode of goodness, this influences passion, this is ignorance. You know, you, you're not just thinking, this is me, this is how I am, this is how I feel, this is what I want. You know, no, it's just under this different influence. So thank you very much for joining us. You know, it's a short presentation, but I hope you found something useful for yourself. All the best, namaste, Haribo. Mm -hmm.